Hello and uh, let's carry on with series. So we have another series here. Let's carry on. So we need to find the sum. Well, actually, we need to try to find if it's convergent of not or not. The series from n equals one to infinity of n divided by n squared plus one. Now, uh, let me uh, talk a little bit about a very similar series, which uh, looks a bit the same. Let's imagine we had had that series n divided by n squared which looks very much the same but it is not the same it's got a plus one there this one is equal to uh, uh, sum from n equals one towards infinity of one divided by, one divided by n uh, we know that this one is a divergent one that's divergent divergent d for divergent now um, if you think about it n squared plus n has got to be inferior to um, n divided by n squared equals 1 divided by n so we know that this is divergent this, is, this doesn't mean because it's inferior it doesn't mean that it is convergent it could be divergent or convergent so we don't know on the other hand if we had had n divided by n squared minus n we would have known that it would have been superior to 1 divided by n so this one being divergent this one being divergent we would have known that this one is divergent too because it's it's bigger it's superior to the other one but in our case we don't know so we need to uh, do differently so the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n divided by n squared plus 1 uh, what is it? Is it a convergent series or a divergent? Um, the only way I can think of uh, finding the, the answer to the question is by uh, integrating the function f of n equals n divided by n squared plus 1. And uh, we know that um, if you integrate um, the n by uh, n you have ln of n, ln of absolute value of n. Okay, um, let's let's take u if you want. Du divided by u to make it clearer. Okay, du divided by u is ln of u. All right, du divided by u is ln of u. In this case, in this case, u equals n squared plus one, and du is going to be two n. So we got an n here, so we could write that fx equals one half multiplied by two divided by n squared plus one. So if you integrate f of x, you will get so integrate from one to infinity of um, of uh, n divided by n squared plus one. Right, you will have one half of ln of absolute value of n squared plus one. This is interesting, and we know that um, if you take if you draw a graph of the series, you're gonna have something like that. We know that the the area there is gonna be infinite because Lf n ten, tending towards infinity, ln of infinity squared plus 1 is going to be infinity minus the constant that is going to be at 1 you're going to have infinity minus infinity minus constant, you're going to have infinity so this area there has infinite uh, area kind of the surface area is infinite and the series can be thought of as uh, this is 1, this is 2 it can be thought of as a sum of all those rectangles there. So we know that um, the sum of that series that we have n divided by n squared plus 1 is going to be uh, superior to one half of ln of infinite squared plus 1 
minus one half of ln of one squared, which is one plus one. All right, ln of one plus one. Uh, ln of 1 is 0, 0 plus 1, so one, minus 1 half. So basically you got infinity minus 1 half, which is infinity. So because our series, the sum of our series, is superior to infinity, it is infinite. So it is divergent. So this one, this series from 1 to infinity, this one is a divergent series. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Bye.